All right, so I'm down here working on the garage, um, and I have uh, some fuel injectors that are clogged up. And I figured before I did this last one, I'd show you how I clean them. Uh, fuel injectors, pretty simple. You usually twist them to turn them around 180. Uh, you got a little retainer clip. The retainer clip pops off. Usually pretty simple. And then the injector itself, give it a little wiggle and pull, and it comes right out. So, it's the injector side and then the electronic side, six bolt. Uh, when we hook six bolts on this, it opens up. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove this O-ring because the piece of fuel line I have fits over this nipple perfectly. And I'm just using some carbon brake cleaner, uh, nothing special, with a uh, stem, a little grommet that I drilled a hole through, jammed inside that hose, and then I'm just going to connect this right there. And we're going to rehang this back off of that. We're just going to support it. Now back here I got a six volt battery with some gator clips on it. Uh, red wire, black wire, doesn't matter which wire you use as long as you have two separate wires. And we're going to connect one on the one terminal and my gator clip on the other one fell off so we're just going to we're just going to touch it and hold it there. And then when you spray this it should, oh, well, the gator clip stays on. It should spray out, and as we do this, this cleans the injector. So that actually sprayed really well. Just take the power, take this back off, put your O-ring back on, and then we'll put this back together. <clears throat> get all this seated properly uh, make sure everything's sitting in there locked in the way it's supposed to be we don't want any of the fuel rails to pop out these all look good perfect then what we'll do is we'll put this back together on the system and uh, it'll be good to go I clean fuel injectors. Keep it easy. Okay, so I got the fuel rail sitting on the side. Everything's plugged in. Nothing's permanent. Uh, it's just plugged in. And as you can see, there's four injectors. Uh, and I'll show you when I start this. Uh, well, it won't start, but when I fire the injectors, they'll all be spraying. So. I don't know if it's all showing up real good on video. Uh, these two are spraying really good. This one's still a little light, and this one's still spraying really good too. Uh, we'll go back and re-clean this one again, see if we can't get it spraying a little bit better. All right, so we got the fuel rail back in, the injectors back in, everything plugged in, the main wiring. Uh, this is an air temp sensor. Uh, it goes in the air box, which is normally right here. We're not gonna put that on yet. We just wanna test fire this. So put that on, switch, fuel pump. I don't want to run it too long with no air box on it. I don't want to mess up any of the Rotex uh, in the motor. So, anyways, that's running. That's good, I believe. We'll put some treatment in there just to make sure nothing else is uh, gummed up, clogged up in any of that. It'll help with the injectors. And uh, we're going to get this back together, take it for a test run.